Hello everybody, and welcome back to Laurie's Mechanical Marvels. This week, I'm back in America, and I'm looking at another one of the classic American cars, which is just what I love. Something that I think sums up America, and the kind of cars that I want to take home in my hand luggage. This amazing thing is a Cutlass Supreme, built in 1987, which was the penultimate year of this design. They only went to 88 and then the design totally changed for a new one by Oldsmobile, who I had never heard of before I stumbled across this. We don't have that in the UK at all. But they made magic cars. When I think of an American automobile, this is exactly what I see in my head. And that's basically where I'm at at this stage of, it's just breathtakingly pretty and so amazingly American with this massive, great front bonnet I don't know, nothing of my, you could put all the bonnets of my cars together and they still wouldn't be the size of this. Then a compartment for the people to live in. And I mean, there's people who go to university in the UK that have rooms smaller than the inside of that. And then a boot for a trunk, which is about the same size again. It's colossal. I mean, you could live in this. It's sillyly big. The thing you might all be noticing is how amazingly spotless this vehicle is, especially when you compare it to my own vehicles of the same age, say a certain 1986 fire engine, which is just full of holes. The owner has done remarkably little to this. It's had a little bit of damage on the fenders repaired, a new bonnet or hood lid, and repaint on the back, on the uh, trunk lid. And that's it. It's in stunning condition. For a car that's driven about and has made a ridiculous journey recently, the, the owner brought it back from South Dakota to North Carolina, which is 24 hours of driving. I don't think I trust anything I own to run for 24 hours, even over like a period of a year. And for something that's now 30 something years old, that's really quite impressive. Well done, America. You, you made something that worked. Oh, I have well and truly, I haven't even gone out in it yet and I'm in love with it. It's just stunning. Under the quite frankly gigantic hood, we have the beating heart. And of course, we're in America, so it must be a V8. And that's harder than I thought it was. Oh, there we go. Behold, small block Chevy. Now this one's the 350. Originally, this had 307, which is the same block kind of less powerful, the bits inside are smaller. But that blew up about 10,000 miles ago. So the owner has had this put into it. Now, there are many configurations of the 350 and they generate a varying amount of horsepower, anything from like 140 up to 300 and more. So we don't really know what this does. The owner's had a couple of modifications done to it. It has a Vortex air intake and then a four barrel Attlebrook carb setup put onto it. And that all then goes to a 350 turbo trans automatic gearbox setup. That's a three speed with a overdrive on it because the three speed thing seems to be popular over here. And again, we, over everything I'm used to over back in home, I think most of the engines are turned that way. And we don't have this space to work on anything. There isn't all of this extra space where you can actually get your arms around things and actually see where things go. It's just, it's a lot easier. Yeah, you can actually reach across. I mean, admittedly, it is quite a reach across. You know, like the 106 is half the width of this. But you can see everything and you can get to everything. And it's such an attractive engine bay. I mean, this car was put together right. This is how an engine bay should look. And the owner has put a lot of time and effort into it. The bits that are shiny are meant to be shiny. This is an owner who really loves this car, and I can totally understand why. I mean, if I had this, I might even take care of it. The trunk is indeed big enough to put a body in, and quite comfortably too. That was possibly the most terrifying experience of my entire life. I understand now why there are these little clippy things to be able to get you out of the trunk. It's a massive trunk. You could fit everything in here. One rather large sized human being fits quite comfortably alongside the spare wheel. Which brings me to the back end of this thing. I love the rear lights, 
the rear bumper, the whole rear shape of this thing is absolutely beautiful. It's a beautiful rear end. I mean, it still has this thing of flashing brake lights for indicators rather than actual proper turn signals. But we'll, we'll look over that, we'll gloss over that fact for the fact it is so pretty. Also notice the absolutely awesome license plate. As my UK viewers will know, we can't really do things like this without it being horrendously expensive. But lots of vehicles have these because it's actually relatively easy to do. You just write off and say, I want this one and uh, send off a small amount of money. It happens rather than paying thousands upon thousands of pounds for something special. The only thing that's changed in here is this rather large subsystem, which the present owner has put in to make the car a bit more cool and hip. And actually, it's turned it into a really, really cool cruising machine. You can drive along, windows down, listening to the beats, and frankly, I don't think there's anything more American than listening to American music in this car down American roads. I mean, that's the dream, right? That is the American dream. I'm sure that's the American dream. One of the things I really like about this car, one of the many, many things, because basically I like everything, is the front end. I really like the headlights and the front grille, and I love the little Oldsmobile logo there. It's got a sense of class about it. It's a bit like the Rolls Royce Lady or the, the Jaguar. It just gives the whole front end a bit more purpose and makes it look a bit more refined. Because if you take that away, it just looks like an evil front end. And that little addition makes it just civilised and proper without taking anything away from it. It still looks amazingly aggressive and amazingly cool. Oh, I love this chrome. I know I've said it repeatedly, but the chrome and the black on this works so well. I kind of want to just drive this everywhere in a suit. It can just be like either the Blues Brothers or the Godfellas or something. Something American definitely needs to happen with this car because it just screams America. It couldn't be any more American if there was a giant bald eagle on the front and American flags decorated over it flying from the back. This is America. So let's do what I've done and go inside America. This might actually be perfect. It's absolutely amazing. I love the steering wheel. I love the bits of chrome on the controls. I love the look of all the controls. I love how the side window up and down, they're chrome. There's a little lever here to adjust my mirror. That's chrome. It's so pretty. I love the, the kind of the fake wood effect on the dash. It just screams 80s and amazingness. It's just everything that appeals to me in a car. It's great. I really like, I've got a, a little dial here for the wiper delay. And it's amazingly good condition in here. The owner says he's done like nothing to it. And it's, it's like mint. This is better than pretty much every single one of my cars. In fact, I don't think I have anything that's this good inside. There are a couple of little things that have been done to it. It has these gauges down the bottom here to give us water temperature, oil pressure, and battery voltage, which are all useful things to have because the dash shows me nothing apart from speed. And that only goes up to 85. And I have it on good authority that the car will do more than 85. Now, there's a little mark on the dash for 55. And this comes from back in the days that during the gas price crisis back in the 80s, that the Americans decided the best way to regulate this and to not run out of gas wasn't to make more efficient vehicles. Oh no. They decided the best way was to make the speedos only got to say 85 and put a mark for 55 because that was the speed limit. I cannot stress how amazing this feels being in here and such a mint condition. It's, it's mint. It's absolutely fantastic. I know the owner is very, very proud of this and I would be too. It's just, it's mega, it's mega cool. And you know what? It sounds amazing. <laughs> I'm in love. That's basically, you can turn the review off now. I've done it. I'm in love. I love this to pieces. 
this is everything I hoped it would be, and so much more. It's a delightful sound. That's the main thing I take away from this. But also, it just, it's a lovely thing to drive. The suspension's soft. I don't want to drive around a track in it, but this is totally the wrong car to take on track. It's just something that's lovely. And on the roads around here, it's just, it eats up all the bumps. There's not too much body roll. It's just, it's an amazingly nice car to be in. I just want to drive it more. I want to, I want to go, to, I want to cross America in this. And it's, it's not abysmal on gas, petrol, whatever we want to call it. Apparently the owner was getting 20s on the, on the highway, which is out here pretty good considering some of the stuff I've driven doesn't even get into double figures. So that's good. And oh, the engine is just, it's so smooth. I mean, it's effectively new because it was rebuilt from like 10,000 miles ago, but it's just silky smooth. It's a beautiful, beautiful engine. And just puts down power. It's a lovely, smooth transition of power. It's great. And you know what? For quite a big car, the brakes work really well as well. Are they discs or drums? Uh, disc brakes. All round? Uh, yes. Okay, that's quite nice. That's that's modern. For everything else I've driven out here, it's been drums or a little bit of discs and some drums. I'm so in love with this. Yeah. I just, I love the, the way it steers, the way it drives. This thing is just, it's absolutely fantastic. I, everything about it is just, and I, even like you take it all apart. I've driven some stuff out here that if you kind of look at each thing individually, it's terrible, but you put it together and it's awesome. Yeah. This thing is just genuinely across the board. It's just really nice. I mean, yeah, it, it is, it's too big by English standards, but yeah. it's really nice in here. There's so much room in here and there's even a bit of room in the back. There, you Very get, nice, old, comfortable seats. Yeah, the seats are fantastic, aren't they? I mean, I miss a lot of headrests that come up here. You've just got them low down. Yeah, they do, yeah. It's, it's big, but it doesn't feel too big. It's, it's, it's a large car, but you don't feel lost in it. You don't feel like it's too big for the road. I mean, the roads are big out here, but it feels, it feels nice. It feels totally how it's meant to be. This car feels right. The st I love the steering wheel. I love these old school thin steering wheels. But the steering on it's really nice for a large car. It's it's really it's really really nice. It's smooth. You feel the road through it, and it's just a really really nice sensation. It's just this is a lovely driving car. I don't, I don't think you guys have gas you know grasped that yet because I'm not being very clear with it. But it's just spot on. I love all the controls as well because they're all chrome. It's just so pretty. And the, the owner has done such a nice job of looking after it because it's just, there's a couple of little things he's pointed out to me and they are all things that I would not have noticed. Oh my God, that noise! <laughs> it's perfect. It's just, that's an amazing noise and it's, Oh, it's so good. Shift up and overdrive now. Bang it into one up. Yep. Into the motorway. Ah, there we go. Into overdrive. Oh, man. So you were saying you just talked to the mechanic who rebuilt this. Yeah. And it's got it's got a new different cam in it. Different cam. It's got the four barrel out of Brock, more tech intake. Um, yeah, about 400 horse. What, what <laughs> 200 horse said, well. so. That's mental. 400 yeah. horses. <laughs> that's just, that's fantastic. Yeah, I'm gonna throw a new set of, set of wheels on here once these tires are shot. And uh, I think I'm gonna throw some Prager wheels on and throw oh, yeah. some nine and a half or 10 inch wheels in the back and, and hopefully maybe throw a posi, posi rear end in it. And it'll, I think, oh, okay. I think that'll, that'll really Is that what we refer to as limited slip drift back in the UK? Oh, okay. So you've got, yeah, so you've got the diff still working, but it will lock up so you can, yeah. rather than having just one wheel spin up, yeah? Because at the moment, with all that power down, you could just spin up one wheel, yeah? Yep, yeah, yep, just, yeah, little one, one wheel wander. <laughs> we refer to it in the UK as doing a one. A one. Yeah. <laughs> And you've had, you bought this car, you've had this now nine years. Nine years, yeah, I bought it when I was 13. I was still playing with toy cars when I was 13. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna, 
Uh, my dad found this one for me. Actually, we were looking for G bodies, and we found an '86 old Hearst 442, which had the T tops. And I, I really wish that I, I would have gotten that car. It was, it was in primer with no interior. It would have been a project, but it was only fifteen hundred dollars, and it would have. The 442 is kind of the, kind of the car to have for for these Oldsmobiles. But it, you know, but the, I, I'm I'm glad I ended up with this car. I got it. You know, I got it for thirty six hundred dollars, which. That's a, you've got a lot of car for the money. Yeah, absolutely. Because that's I mean, we've, that's like three grand in UK money at the moment. Yeah. And that I mean, for something that's this mint. Yeah. You've done well. That's yeah. that's good. I suppose they got about ten thousand into it now. <laughs> the, you know, hitting that deer and fixing the fixing the front clip and mm-hmm. and then the sound system and the new motor and, and transmission. So. How I mean, much did you say you spent on the sound system? Two thousand. <laughs> You oh, spent yeah. more. You spent more on your sound system than I have on most of my cars. Yeah. Like to buy them. Yeah, it. Uh, it is really cool though. Like, yeah. I won't play the music for you guys at home because uh, copyright laws and stuff. But I take my word for it. It's 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 really tastefully done. It's not too loud. It's not. It's just really good. It just makes this a really really lovely place to be with really good tunes. Yeah, no, it. it wanted something that would, you know, do really good with rock music and. No, they're just two eight-inch subs, which around here are tiny. But it, this, yeah, this, like you were saying, the sound of it is, is pretty nice. Well, you see lots of cars, and like on the modified scene, where they've put the stuff in that's just too big. Yeah. You know, it's it's no, it's. Yeah, there's too too much bass and yeah. not enough trouble. But yeah, this this is. It's oh, just really good. I really yeah. enjoy. I mean, to be fair, the the radio does stand out a bit because it's not period. Yeah, yeah. But you got to do it, haven't you? Yeah. This thing is just, it's absolutely fantastic. I, I like the little modifications, I like the little dials down there, I mean you need them to, you have to run the car safely don't you? Because yeah. it's weird not having, did it presumably have lights originally there that lit up? Yeah there's some, I guess I don't know all the signal lights there, but like the check engine lights on permanently now because of the- Because of the new engine? New engine, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh but it's, what a thing, it's great. Well, I'm glad we got to do this. It was fun. No, I've, I've, I've really, really enjoyed it. Thank you. This has been such a cool trip to do yeah. and such a cool car to drive. And so, guys, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this thing as much as I have. This has just been perfect. This has been what I think America is, and I have loved it. So please like, subscribe, leave a comment, and hope to see you guys again soon.